I I started watching your videos and they are so the fact that they are so easily graspable. I mean, I'm not mm. sure if that's a word, but you can grasp them very easily. There's that, and also there are concepts, literary theory and criticism. All of them. I used to follow you on, like I still do follow you on YouTube, of course. But then your lectures over there are immensely helpful, and you thank are you, like you. this medium. for me to you know my dreams just came true so actually the syllabus it's so immense that it will take me at least at least a year to just curate it down and you know bring it to one place everything like they have not left anything out so that is why exactly. that platform the course arpitakarva.com is just it's the perfect start for a student and obviously they'll have to work harder read books and do what not right, but your right. course is the right platform from where you know students should definitely start if they are absolutely clueless like i was few months back ago so right. it will give it's them amazing. the right platform Hi Ditesha good evening good evening ma'am this is such a pleasure to see you in real life i mean in virtual <laughs> mode that is thank you so much same your lovely um, seeing you and firstly congratulations big big congratulations on making thank all of us proud thank you so much ma'am and my entire credits to you and i feel entirely blessed seeing you like in in this technically technically possible manner because you've been my inspiration throughout and you know i my sister told me that arpita ma'am cleared her net in her first attempt and that was such a I, this for me was impossible and seeing you as an inspiration has helped me throughout so thank you so thank much thank you so much for all the love and appreciation it means a lot to me and mm-hmm. i would want to take that credit but i want to pass it again to you for putting in so much hard work because as teachers we can just be your guide but then you have to really sit down uh work for days and nights to uh you know understand literature in its full form to cover mm-hmm. an ocean wide syllabus and mm-hmm. um, you made it possible so i'm very very proud of you not just me my entire team is very proud of you right yeah. i have just a few minutes back uh, one of my team member told me that bidisha is there for the interview i'm like schedule the interview right now i i i had to read somewhere i canceled that because i really wanted to meet you that is such a pleasure ma'am i heard like i got a call and i was immensely you know happy that you it is from your side and actually i purchased my ncm exams got over and i only had one month's time and it was mm-hmm. entirely impossible even the person i was talking to said that okay is it your june attempt which you are aiming at i said yeah that <laughs> would be my main <laughs> attempt but this yeah i'm i'm just sitting for the preparation however right, after right. like I I started watching your videos and they are so the fact that they are so easily graspable I mean I'm not mm. sure if that's a word but you can grasp them very easily there's that and also there are concepts literary theory and criticism all of them I used to follow you on like I still do follow you on YouTube of course but then your lectures over there are immensely helpful and you thank are you, like this you. medium for me to you know my dreams just came true so Thank, thank you so much thank you so much for such such a long appreciation but then i would also want to pass on this thanks to my entire team they work really That's hard and my yes. mentors as well like it is <laughs> their blessing and their grooming which is which has shaped me um so that's about it i want to know more about you i want to know where are you from how has been this educational journey like for you and um, when did you start preparing for net and what made you uh, you know plan to prepare for net so all of yes. that please okay all right so i was pursuing my bachelor's from delhi university so over there i used to get inspired from my professor and professor being a professor was like my calling and i actually have been teaching since like 
a long time not just home tuitions we are referring to here after my uh, 12th also i started teaching uh, like in a sort of a school background and so teaching is so, is something which comes naturally to me so for that i had to uh start preparing and then my teachers over there in delhi told me that net is the medium that will open the gates for you and after that definitely you will have to do your phd and stuff like that also i'm basically from kolkata and currently residing in ranchi so after my uh, graduation i'm currently pursuing a uh, masters so that's why and okay. um, you're pursuing yeah. it from uh, ranchi yes yes i'm uh, currently in okay. xavier's Saint Xavier's. Oh, Xavier's Rachi, right? Mm-hmm. My brother is in Rachi. He, my younger brother, uh, he's pursuing his bachelor's from IIM Rachi. Oh, that's amazing! So I've never, yeah, I've never been to Rachi. But then, if in case I do so, I'm definitely going to meet you. And he's been means- asking me to come down to Rachi since so long, but I was not getting time. There was so much happening around that I could not go um, there. But now I have another come, reason to come. Please now. come, definitely. Yes, we'll be so absolutely. happy to have you here. Absolutely, and I literally, absolutely. I tell my friends that you know what you should now that I've cleared it. Everybody is asking me how have you done it and how have you done it. So my first. literally the first advice i give them to them is that uh, you can either purchase the course but if if in case you're not just go to the website and that the syllabus over there it will give you the starting point you will literally have to do no hard work other than that you will find them chronologically arranged that will help you with your chronology as well so yes so the course has been immensely helpful to me Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I, I really loved how uh, you mentioned that uh, you know that uh, that syllabus kind of gives a uh, you know it kind of directs a student uh, as to how to start preparing because the syllabus prescribed by UGC, as I always say, is very mm-hmm. very indicative. Um, so I I wanted to sketch out a syllabus which anybody I I. have uploaded it free of course because i really wanted that anybody who's enthusiastic about preparing at least there should be something available for him so that he knows definitely. how to you know at least start or begin with definitely so, yeah. actually the syllabus it's so immense that it will take me at least at least a year to just curate it down and you know bring it to one place everything like they have not left anything out so that is why exactly. that platform the course arpitakarva.com is just it's the perfect start for a student and obviously they'll have to work harder read books and do what not right, but your right. course is the right platform from where you know students should definitely start if they are absolutely clueless like i was few months back ago so right. it will give it's them amazing. the right platform thank you thank you so much so i wanted to also understand uh, did you prepare for ugc net while you were in your masters yeah I, this was just um, i mean what would i say i gave my ncm exams and i thought that okay let's just start from now and this was just my i would this is like an impossible thing because people say you should study for 6 months at least 3 months that's like maximum but i honestly studied for 1 month that to like i gave my best and then i mm-hmm. sat in the exam thinking that this is just going to be an experience but thankfully i cleared <laughs> it that too in my first time and the wow. entire credit goes to you and my family of course they were being very supportive and everything absolutely absolutely i think family um, uh, the kind of support that we get from family that is uh, that cannot be uh, spoken about in words because Definitely. that is so dear and it, it it is kind of the support pillar that the moment you feel demotivated the moment you feel um, alone those are the moments when it is your family that kinds of gives you that strength to again you yes. know start from the scratch yes it is only possible because of them my sister starting from filling the form till waiting for the results to come out and my mom she has made that environment in my home so that i have to do no work my dad used to go to the center every like you know to see i was just studying so it is because Study. of them yeah. that i was right. able to and why was i able to study is because of your course again so that is there thank you thank you thank you you should also add so all of this what you said makes complete sense but then add on this thing that you have put in that effort you know we indians um, especially girls i would say have this um, habit of not prioritizing ourselves we kind of 
feel overwhelmed when we see other people helping us supporting us but then it is also important that this body this mind which is there with you throughout the day that is kind of helping you we should also you know take time to pat ourselves to tell ourselves that we did a fantastic job we worked out uh really hard to like uh, clear this exam so just add that appreciation that that name in that appreciation <laughs> list that's also important the, okay so i have uh, like a lot of questions uh, to ask uh, especially when i got to know that you just cleared the exam with one month of preparation so it is very very important for a lot of aspirants who are running out of time who have this time crunch to uh, mm-hmm. know and get inspiration from you that what should be their strategy so that they can utilize that one month to the best of their ability so my very first question would be that uh, how many hours did you study what was your routine in the last one one and a half uh, months when you prepared so when did you exactly started preparing and when was the exam exam was on 6th of uh, december yes the entire month of november like apart from me going to college and i also work uh, as a part time job so that was there so the only time oh, i had God. was <laughs> yeah that's why it just so surprising and overwhelming at the same time but my like part, before that part. i would just want to add something before you start preparing you just need to have that strong faith that this is possible people are doing it it's not angels coming mm-hmm. from heaven people are doing it so that exactly. is possible number 1 number 2 right. after that everybody has 24 hours in their lifetime so you know you just got to delete other distractions also so i kind of deleted all of my social media platforms i don't know this feels like a little boasting but then no apart from no, that no no yes, that is that is important i i really want you to share everything honestly um because these are things which are going to motivate others because a lot of people find it challenging that okay i cannot um uh, keep my phone away while studying but then when somebody like you would say which just cleared <laughs> net um they would feel that okay if if she can do it then so can i yeah definitely so uh, the thing is it's possible it, the exam definitely it's tough but it, it can take you more than one attempt two attempt three attempt but you will definitely do this and a lot of times people have not clarified just because of two marks and three marks that doesn't make them mm-hmm. any less capable they are they should just never lose that hope that's there and uh, as far as my strategies are concerned i was very specific about things for example there were portions which i could not cover as well for example um there was this uh, portion i think it was uh, pedagogy and teaching methodology and research teaching. all of that right. so i saw right. one of your videos which uh, said that you know 80% of output comes from 20% of uh, yeah. your hard work <laughs> so right. there was that so i had put my most of my entire attempt was co- in covering british literature and what happens is students start from the uh, initials anglo saxon norman and me- meanwhile when they come to victorian and modern age they feel a little tired and that happens but then the net it has a tendency of asking questions majority like majorly from the these sections modern post modern exactly. that to right. recent questions so that was there and um, so focusing on these uh, se- sections just like victorian and modern the- this is very important definitely there'll be questions from anglo saxon as well but you should not put your entire focus on something like that so there was that and again analyzing previous year question papers that was there and then i had to make my notes also J- there's just one thing i would want to say that people think that they will remember things but no it's diff- it's literally different our minds does not work like that we think we'll remember mm-hmm. but we will not remember until like we completely grasp things for example like we make it a part of ourselves that is how we remember things otherwise it's like mugging up and mugging up will never happen if you just read once you will have to exactly. write down and then there are different strategies for example i was making notes and you don't have to write it elaborately for example some person married some person so you can just write the names and make a heart in between so just like exactly. that exactly so you, you must have also been... gone through those uh, video lectures that we definitely definitely start. that's what that's so, what. that's that's what we do like if two people are marrying so we we just going to make that diagram with a heart in middle and if yes, somebody yes. kills somebody so we are going to just put a cross <laughs> Yes, who, yes, that this dies. person is yeah. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that is yeah. what so, makes your lectures even more, um, I know, understandable. I'd say because usually when, especially when we were doing Charles Dickens, I had problem with that because that 
man has written so many beautiful works but then they are so comprehensive and they have 60 characters in it so it was difficult for me but then the video lectures it helped me a lot and you know uh, the some very basic crux of the things which you need to know because questions are asked from that and it covers mostly everything that the text was published in this era and you know this date and everything and in questions also they'll ask you they had questions like emily bronte's uh, wuthering height was published just uh, analyze which of them are wrong so if you know them right. you'll definitely be able to tell them able to tell them right right and uh, uh, so you were talking about the portions you left like language and pedagogy mm-hmm. you left what were yeah. the other uh, topics that you left um because of the time crunch yeah. mm-hmm. so which so were the other unit Mm-hmm. I prioritized my entire attention towards uh, British uh, literature, uh, literary criticism, and theory because they were the major portion. And um, I did not leave a lot of things because, uh, and also while I- in exams, I definitely did not do uh, research pedagogy and all that. But when the questions came, they usually strike you. So over there, also you have to do a lot of intelligent guesswork, strike out guessing, the wrong yeah. answers. So elimination that, technique, as I said, definitely, yeah, yeah. definitely <laughs> eliminate. technique so that right. helped and uh, what did i leave uh, not a lot of portion but research methodology just came into my mind that i did not like completely study it did you but complete not... like american post colonial european i did go through them but i was again not sure if like i did not do them as properly as i did my Brit- my, my entire foundation was this british literature and literary theory and apart from that theory. yes the caribbean literature and all that no i did not i could not go in detail but yes, if yes. people have time they should definitely go through that absolutely absolutely and as a working professional like it would have been very difficult because you were also doing a part time job so how, how did you like or balance all of that together like you had to also attend college and then come back and study so what was your routine like uh, so basically i had given my end semester exams so i did not have that entire pressure of academics at the same times so i did mm-hmm. have to read my novels but then they were like i like literature that's the thing so i had to read them but then they were not much of a burden and then the job which i do it's just teaching children so that is again uh, a part of it's like a practical weird job so that is what else i love doing that so that was not like taking right. a lot of mental toll on me but then yes mm-hmm. when i used to come back home uh, i did not have to study for my exam so malab, the college exam that is so i had time exactly. to prepare for net so then okay. i started yeah the entire course i started watching one by one and then i made notes and then after every mm-hmm. week i used to revise them because otherwise there's no point if one day i'll start revising them all again that will it will be really difficult it is going to me. vanish from your like it's it's going to go into that bermuda triangle from where you'll never find <laughs> that information again <laughs> that's right, what that's right. what so that that's is what so happened <laughs> so i used what, to revise what, that yeah yeah Yeah, go uh, ahead. Okay. So um I I was also wanted to um you know just put another question in this that when you say that you were um, preparing notes in um, you know uh, studying so what study material or resources were you actually using for paper 2 preparation? Mm-hmm. paper 2 yes i had started with i used to ask my professors also they used to tell me that for one particular topic do not stick with any one particular book if you are reading any particular thing for example if you are doing post colonial literature if you study it from any book for example let's just say you're doing if there is a historical instance even if it's war of roses i'm doing i'll read it from one one book like for example i did it from uh, e albers then i also referred to david dutch because if if something gets missed then it will be covered up from the second book so books uh, definitely they were there but again i also was watching youtube videos of a lot of other for example if i'm watching modernism i'll watch i'll watch your video i'll the thing is you should not restrict yourself to only one particular source because there okay. are times when things get you know missed and then you kind of don't know the entire so in order to have the entirety of it of course your course is self sufficient it's just that in order to have that entire confidence you should also refer to other sources because other sources. one but yes yes one uh, topic from different so also keep jotting down also for example i was doing mm. e albert so i was making my notes that okay these many questions are can be possibly asked after that i started reading some other book and then i also watched youtube right. channel so my one topic right. had material from different sources so it kind of gave me that confidence that okay yes i have done it so i kind of can 
answer this thing. wonderful wonderful yeah. and how did you prepare for those chronology based questions chronology based question. approach yeah <laughs> yes there was this very amazing uh, youtube video i found it it was uh, it it had that information as to how will you uh, there was this acronym for um, memorizing there was just one uh, instance i'm giving charles dickens's novel so it was pickwick paper then oliver twist and things like that so i had to remember those there are certain very story form yes yes in a sentence yes, yes. form which is you know there was a sentence and uh, there's that chronology and apart from that even your course has mentioned it for example if it's romanticism so it will have wordsworth at the top and then coleridge after that so and like these were the pre romantic not pre the first generation and after that first the second generation, generation. Of romantic so exactly so there and was also that. the works are in chronology so yes yes, yes. when you when you learn so it kind of sticks in mm-hmm. your head like that right right exactly exactly Literary theory so, again um, another very challenging area for ugc net aspirants so how, what was your um, approach towards handling literary theory did you struggle only- with that or was it easy yeah i can really feel with the students if they say they are finding it difficult but then my only and only solution to that was co- understanding concepts the concept is power it's literally if you know this especially literary theory and what has some person said and something like that if you know the concepts then what maximum the net uh, like the uh, paper setters will do is they'll mm-hmm. complicate the language and but if you know the concept okay post colonialism is about this then if they give a wrong sentence you will know okay this is not it was uh, like what mm-hmm. i've read so con- mm. understanding concept is very important and again memorizing what gulf war did not take place and stuff like that so there's that to memorization but understanding it like you know you should not just rote learn things otherwise you are bound to forget so exactly there's that exactly it's not going to stick in your head like yeah, if, if you have is... not understood something you are bound to forget exactly exactly but then um, uh, one more thing that uh, kind of strikes my mind as you were sharing this i i uh, i find you a very intelligent girl who kind of understood how uh, things work how the paper setter mind works when he's mm-hmm. setting the paper so why did you feel that there was a need to join a coaching class for ugc net like <laughs> self study did not like uh, you, uh, why not the route of self study self study could have taken me a longer time is that uh, that is the reason number 1 if i am being completely honest oh, i yeah. could have done this but it would have taken me few more attempts because hmm. i i did ha- see everybody has a phone which is like an excellent best like it has the world on your fingertips however you will not have that guidance to where to start from what is what should you leave what should you not leave and you know things mm. like that so joining your first of all this syllabus as i said it was so intense and immense that you know even seeing that will give you that overwhelming fear is it even possible to do it within 6 <laughs> months so that can happen but once you join the coaching and like first of all the one if anybody sees the syllabus they would want to listen to the videos and that is very <laughs> tempting of course but apart from that they can do their own research but listening to that helped me in you know uh, sidelining a lot of other things which are not necessary so it kind of he- the coaching institute uh, primarily helps you to have that footing that base that okay this is where you should start from this is what right, you should right that's what right right and also like uh, why not um, on offline classes because i don't know about rachi like whether they have good uh, ugc net institutes but then offline is said to be a relatively easier way because you can go there and sit a lot of students feel that nowadays like i am a big fan of edx uh, dot com if you've heard of it has like mm-hmm. plethora of courses from Harvard and Yale and all these mm-hmm. great universities. Um, so it's not possible for me to go there. So then internet brings those courses to me. So I am a big fan of online learning. But then a lot of people still believe that offline is a better way to go. So like, uh, what what was your take on this? uh again i think it depends on person to person for example as per my schedule i was not able to even you know find out the time i used to listen to these lectures at 1 am at night so mm-hmm. going there again the geographical and ter- tertiary problems were there and it's it is much more convenient for me to go through online and the thing is uh 
see again it has both pros and cons you can definitely interact with teachers and that can happen however if it is online you can use it at your own speed at your own pace you can re repeat it watch it 100 times until you've understood so that was there right. and uh, offline modes definitely help you but then i think um, again i mean i can't say one is better or one is not but it depends if one is comfortable with that so online exactly. coaching for me and what you said makes out. sense um uh, what you just said makes so much sense that it could not fit in your routine because you were already engaged with a lot of things and you were studying at 1 am at the night so mm-hmm. any online class could not have taken place uh, offline class would have not taken place at that time so yeah. um, that kind of fit into your schedule great yes. so any specific benefits that you can like pinpoint which you got once like after enrolling in our course like what were the key benefits you think that the course brought in your preparation okay uh, there there are multiple actually but then uh, to start with it definitely helped me down with my syllabus because again it's vast because those uh, for people i am saying you should go and refer to this and they are saying and they are like how is it possible to do it but once you have the course you know that it is definitely possible you just have to possible. make time out number 1 number 2 critical as you said the theories and the um critical mat- criticism basically so that is a little difficult to understand if you are referring to different books and all so in the end i knew i had to buy this course because if i'm studying from my own i'll have to buy a lot of books like one book will be insufficient and so but then this course has that in the videos are self sufficient and you can definitely do a research aside from that but apart from that if you're just watching that it will make you feel that okay you have not left out a lot you have covered more of it and matlab you you can feel confident with that so helping me i was saying understanding is the key so that understanding comes from the videos so Lectures. there's that right right and uh, apart from that they're made very like they're not very long as if they're going for hours and hours they're very short and crisp and it's some videos just end in 2 3 minutes so you feel like motivated okay let me just watch few more and then few more so, right right I know, but that, that, that was some. Mm-hmm. That was something mm-hmm. that uh, even I used to, um, you know, do when I was preparing for NET. So I have uh, understood this uh, from a lot of psychological researchers that the attention span of human brain is very limited. Okay, so if it is a ten-minute lecture, you'll be like, you'll feel okay. Let me do it. It's just ten minutes long. If it is a fifty-minute mm-hmm. lecture, you'll be like, okay, let me just browse through Insta for some time. Let me just go out and take a stroll. let me do this let me do that this is a task too big to finish so if we break that, that task into like bite sized lessons mm-hmm. people are tempted to like go through it they're like acha 10 minute hai mere paas pe let's just finish it acha sona hai but i i want to sleep around 130 so i have like 15 20 minutes let me finish two three lectures in that time mm-hmm. so that, that kind of me. yeah that that, that was me. my reasoning behind it why i <laughs> made the lectures wonders right. for i'm sure a lot of people <laughs> yeah i i i hope so <laughs> and i am really blessed to have students like you on board with us who are um who look at literature from a very different lens for them passing an exam is one of the goals it's not the end goal for them mm-hmm. uh, the real goal is to understand literature to see how it can benefit society to inspire a lot of other students you're going Definitely to meet in your journey and who are passionate about teaching so when mm-hmm. i started this platform i always say to my employees we we're, we're going to celebrate 6 years in a few days oh. on 14 february we are going to uh, complete 6 years of our company so uh, i remember <laughs> thank you thank you so the day when i started the company my aim was to make a platform that can teach teach uh, like that can build teachers who love teaching so that students who they teach will love learning so it's kind of like a very big change really? that i'm trying to make yeah so and i have been chosen successful so far ma'am you have done an amazing amazing job it's like a symbiosis happening teachers benefiting from the students and students benefiting like it's otherwise it's amazing so absolutely thank you thank you so much um uh, coming back to the uh, interview i have another interesting question for you you were talking about notes like so can you share mm-hmm. your note making strategy like um how exactly were you making notes and how were you revising these notes 
okay so i i would let's just say i'll give you an example uh, uh if i'm making notes on marlo let's just say so i'll start with his biography first i'll write uh, not all the details are important for example it was even mentioned somewhere he's a homosexual and all so i know they will not ask such questions if this is true or not i mean they might but then and this detail is not probability so is all, very very less yeah. yes exactly so you you got to know that this is important and what is not important just leave it out so obviously you can't write everything because it is immense so the important chunks i used to take out from the author understanding author is very important and uh, there's that and apart from author when i was also doing the uh, when i was doing the ages i did not leave out anything that is the movements movements the uh, historical the lollard movements and the rebe- peace and rebellion and all that actually it's like a it's like building a house and all these works uh, works that i do authors work they are like bricks but the social movements are like a cement so they will help you form wow. the entire brick uh, the wall in the you entire you kind of imbibed that metaphor and simile wala cheese in your side inside you i i remember um, one of my student used to tell me that when i read uh, john dan and a lot of other mm-hmm. writers who love giving these analogies and allegories uh, i mm-hmm. kind of feel that ye sochte kaise the and right now the moment you just gave this beautiful analogy of building a house and how Uh, these moments in social reforms that happened mm-hmm. that was kind of uh, this kind of contributed yeah mm-hmm. uh, contributed mm-hmm. in um, making the foundation of the house because bricks you can put one after the other but if the cement is not there the bricks are going to fall so, exactly exactly yeah right so that's so beautiful lovely analogy <laughs> i yes, i'm going to that uh, in my few for the future lectures saying that one of my student taught me this <laughs> i'll be so glad so that is what i tell my friends also you know do not miss out those because otherwise you will not understand why is this writer writing what is in his mind you know that is exactly. important so exactly. there's that and after that like i have made notes on marlo and after marlo then i was i started with his works for example in mm-hmm. a chronological manner that is so that baad mein i don't have to go ahead and uh, see which work was written first so i obviously used first. to go ahead with the first work right see it's um, not just the significance of title and then see the how what is the beginning line how does it end then the character's name and after that the entire crux a detailed summary that is at times they ask questions which are very detailed like who was the personal secretary and their dog or something like that some very detailed questions so um, there was that and um, like uh, for example every plagiu of malta and then uh, uh, dr faustus all of these had like one one page notes of a very condensed form that will not leave out anything the characters if there's a quote which is very significant or oft repeated so uh, there was that and, if there's uh, any reference uh, on which another book was written the title was yeah, taken yeah. from it like a handful yeah, of dust has been taken from wasteland so yeah yeah, yeah. So, sort yeah, of that, just like that reference Mm-hmm. intertextual allusions for example white sir gasosi and bertha mason and how so just like that so that exactly. is how i made yeah. my notes and uh, i used to write them not in a lot of paragraphs i used to write them in point wise right. because otherwise i'll also exactly. not feel like reading it so just right. point and wise very, very 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 important it is to like make very short notes so that mm-hmm. so you don't have to be a lot of students don't understand they don't have to be a xerox machine they they <laughs> just have to write such like short pointers that only when they see it you can only understand that okay why you have written this particular phrase you will recall mm-hmm. the story behind this phrase the notes yeah, are for yeah. your reference and not for the reference of your friend that wo jab padhe to usko sab samajh aaye aapko samajh aana chahiye that's the entire definitely point. definitely you will ha- carry them with your like i think for the rest of your life so make sure rest that you it. understand them write them in proper and writing change pen colors if that is necessary that will also help so write them in a crisp format and just yeah as you said your xerox machine and everything so that is not <laughs> right, right and how how did you revise like um, did you do daily revision or was it a last minute revision before the exams 
I used to do a weekly revision. Uh, as okay. in, like daily revision. Would I? My focus was to, for example, I did not have rigid goals, but then I used to have certain things in mind. Okay, that this week I'll be. I used to like. There's a in WhatsApp. There's a thing where you can talk to yourself, like the chat where you can talk to yeah. yourself. I think there's that. So over there, I used to write that. Okay, this week I'll cover literary criticism. Me there's that. I'll cover uh, post-colonial or psychoanalytical, right. uh, psychoanalytical criticism. or things like that and then in literature i'll do this in um, let's just say in other literatures i'll do gabriel Ga- uh, garcia marca and things like that so that would that helped me and then after a week i used to revise on sundays especially i used to give times in the evening that okay what did i study in the entire week so that if i do it a quick revision quick revision would have been impossible if i did not revise it like that so there's that right right wonderful wonderful i think weekly revision makes so much sense that you also have a um have a kind of understanding that okay this week this much i've completed so you kind you can kind of have a mental calculation that okay 40% of my syllabus is complete next time i may to finish 50% so you have those milestones mentally there um, that's yeah, great definitely. another interesting thing that i want to ask is that you must have found that um, since you did not cover the entire syllabus so there might be a lot of questions in the paper that you felt was unfamiliar or was tough for you to handle since you did not mm-hmm. finish that portion so how did you tackle mm-hmm. those questions <laughs> again elimination technique that i knew these two were not the answers because i have studied uh, that so uh, for example there was like at times you just need to uh, apply a little bit of there was a question what does portmanteau means so uh-huh. i kind of knew i i studied all uh, like this um, all the options and most of them were making sense but there then there was this one sentence a uh, one option which is not making sense entirely so that is strike off and then uh-huh. in the three so again the elimination technique helped me a lot so that is how i uh, did and uh, yeah and so how they were manage not, your time Yeah, no, sorry. Please go ahead. You were saying that. Yeah, no, no. Just that only that there was a question. There was a very difficult question. It was an Indian writer, lesser known Indian writer, and there were a chronology based on that. So I started like you know thinking if I were a writer, what would I have had written first? Is it a poem oh. or my mother? <laughs> that's very lame. I should okay. not like. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. So no, no, I don't think so. I think um, what is interesting to know is that. somebody who is keen on getting those questions right somebody mm-hmm. who is not just like ye to pata nahi hai kuch bhi abcd me se jai mata ki mm-hmm. karke tick kar do if that is not the approach mm-hmm. then that person mm-hmm. is definitely going to use some or the other uh, mm-hmm. tactics to solve it and sometimes it it is right also sometimes it backfires also but the point yeah, is yeah. that at least apne ek dimag laga ke apne probability increase kiya jaise this example that you are giving elimination ka So I always mm-hmm. say कि अगर आपके पास चार ऑप्शन है एंड आप कोई भी एक ऑप्शन को टिक करके आते हो सो आपका प्रॉबिलिटी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट है टू गेट इट राइट बट अगर आपने दो ऑप्शन को एलिमिनेट कर दिया तो आपका प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग द राइट आंसर इज फिफ्टी परसेंट तो आपने डबल कर दिया प्रॉबिलिटी सो वेन यू यूज दीज काइंड ऑफ टैक्टिक्स टू गेट अ क्वेश्चन राइट आपने प्रॉबिलिटी थोड़ा सा इंक्रीज कर दिया एंड ऑब्वियसली द क्वेश्चन दैट यू डोंट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट वहां पे प्रॉबिलिटी प्लेज अ क्रूशल रोल कि आप कितना दिमाग लगा के आप क्या कर पाते हैं एंड कंसीडरिंग तो या एग्जैक्टली आई वाज कमिंग टू दैट एंड कंसीडरिंग यू डू नॉट हैव अ नेगेटिव मार्किंग सिस्टम व्हिच विल यू नो डिमिनिश योर मार्क्स यू शुड डेफिनेटली नॉट लीव आउट क्वेश्चंस बिकॉज़ देयर हैव बीन फ्यू वेरी फ्यू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आई थॉट वर डेफिनेटली रॉन्ग बट दे वर नॉट एक्चुअली दे वर राइट बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट एलिमिनेशन टेक्निक एंड ऑल दैट सो आई एम ग्रेटफुल दैट दैट हैपेंड सो आई थिंक पीपल शुड टेक देयर चांसेस इवन इफ इट्स रॉन्ग यू विल नो इफ इट्स राइट देन गुड फॉर यू सो गुड फॉर यू एक्जेक्टली एक्जेक्टली वैसे भी अगर नहीं भी सॉल्व किया तो भी जीरो तो है ही गैस करके देख लो हो सकता है थोड़ा कुछ मार्क्स मिल जाए एग्जैक्टली बिकॉज एक एक मार्क्स का बहुत वो है ना प्रॉब्लम है अगेन अनदर क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैव फॉर यू इज दैट हाउ डिड यू मैनेज टाइम ड्यूरिंग द यू नो एग्जाम दोस थ्री आवर्स व्हाट वाज योर अप्रोच व्हिच क्वेश्चंस डिड यू अटेम्प्ट फर्स्ट व्हाट वाज द सीक्वेंस ऑफ पेपर 1 एंड पेपर 2 Yeah. <laughs> so okay, uh, let me be very honest. The moment I saw paper one, I prepared D a uh, DI also. Like I used to see videos. I think is it a brother who makes it? Some some yes, person, yes. some karma. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. 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 So he, he is my he, brother, the one who is um, in I am Rachi right now. Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, 
so i used to uh, listen to the, i had prepared that but then the question paper it it was a little tricky this time paper 1 so i got nervous and then i was like okay let me i just uh, marked them for review and i said i'll come back to these and then i came to paper like i did all of them but then i i was not very certain so i did not waste my time thinking half an hour ki i will solve this question then only i will go to the next one so no that <laughs> did not happen so and then i moved to paper 2 and that is where i was like okay this is my forte here and then i <laughs> developed that confidence that okay i can do this and after i was done with that so there was time left and then i went route to review that question so i would the only tip i think with this is a very repetitive tip that you should not waste time on questions which you should which you know are if you are not able to do that you should just move on to the questions which you yeah. do know otherwise you just end up missing them missing and it is very important i think i can uh this is one tip that i kind of have repeated in all my videos that i made towards the end of the um course like when i'm just taking youtube lives on uh, how to attempt mock test and how to uh, do the last minute revision so in that series in every video this is one thing that i say that don't get attached to a question मतलब एकदम प्यार मत कर बैठो कि इस क्वेश्चन को तो मैं सॉल्व करके ही छोड़ूंगा नहीं हो रहा है सॉल्व मूव ऑन इट इज नॉट लाइक योर लास्ट रिलेशनशिप दैट यू आर लाइक कि नहीं इससे तो मुझे वर्कआउट कराना ही है डोंट गेट अटैच्ड टू क्वेश्चन is my again last minute revision i was revising so again uh, the, the mentor uh, he told me uh, like he told he used to tell in his every video that there are portions which definitely come in exam so you should study these and these are the questions they have not been asking from like so many years so i did not i completely did not study them this time also they did not come so that happened and apart from that there were significant questions for example the alphabet series the number series these are things which you again have to make the mental makeup that okay even if you're not good in maths they will not ask few questions like you know they, from a very college level they'll ask you basic questions only in fact yeah. if i had to give it second time i would have a better gay in that but uh, apart from that uh, as i was saying so uh, paper 1 may i did try to um, as in uh, what do i say i did try to not put so much attention into questions which were a little difficult for me for example there were questions the train uh, speed and everything so i knew this will take time and all, for me at least but then there were yeah. questions like number series and alphabet series those were questions which i know okay these i can do this so that yeah. i did and that i made my surety and then i moved on and then a uh, paper 2 was again yeah exactly uh, uh, very rightly said that um, you have to play with your strengths so <laughs> like i i remember this was one mistake that i did when i was preparing for net so uh, when i was preparing for net i was like very very ambitious so i kind of uh, did all number series and di and everything and i'm pathetic at math yes, okay ma'am your math ambition is... has inspired a lot i think the first <laughs> video i watched of you was how to write better answers if you're in masters or bachelor yeah, that right. was the first video and over there you were explaining how you were the topper of your entire university and that was just so inspiring then you post videos of you going to foreign countries and it just makes me feel that okay one day i will be like her and you know if yeah, she can do it you. on one attempt it is possible so Yeah, I'm so sorry. I interrupted. Do continue. No, 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 not not at all. I'm I'm so glad. I'm so overwhelmed right now to know that um, you know I I have that impact in life of so many people. So yeah, uh, going back to my story. So I was uh, sharing that. Uh, so I did a lot of uh, hard work when it came to DI and um, mm-hmm. logical reasoning questions. So I put in like a lot of efforts to understand and solve a lot of questions. but then when the paper came that time the di and the logical part was very tricky so i could not get it right but then that there i had this feeling here maine bahut mehnat kari hai section pe i have to get it right so i kind mm. of wasted those 10 minutes and then that was a moment when i realized ki ho nahi raha hai and it is just my ego that is making me waste my time here because i have put in like 50 hours understanding di and now i cannot get these five questions right to mere ko aisa lagega yaar mera 50 ghante ka mehnat waste ho gaya so at that time i took a one minute break in the exam hall and i just asked myself that ye panch question sahi karne zaruri hai ya aise panch question pe main dimag lagaun jo shayad main sahi kar sakti hu kyunki ye to nahi honge sahi is pe ho sakta hai main aadhe ghante lagaun but then i'll mess up with those 30 questions which i can do in the, in these 30 minutes 
and that is the moment when i decided that dim i am just going to mark random answers and i am going to move ahead and that was a game changer because agar maine us din wo ek cheez nahi us time pe kasi kari hoti so even i would have not cleared it in my first attempt so that is when i realized ki ye kuch choti choti cheeze hoti hai kahin na kahin when we share our experiences so a lot of people uh, you know kind of relate to it and they kind of remember it uh, at the back of their mind so on the day of the exam maybe wo bhi shayad ye galti kar rahe hain and they'll remember you sharing this or our interview where we both are talking about this and they'll they might not waste their time and they'll move on so i think that is exact, where exact i feel like i'm to. like your little version or something this exact <laughs> thing happened with me i also prepared for di but then the moment i saw the question half of the section was not there it you had to make the further calculation it was not the basic question definitely yeah, yeah. if you had this time it was very hard know. so right. so that happened i saw and i realized okay i did not i was not even thinking so much i just knew it from the start this will take time i should not waste my time in this i should definitely just see which answer seems reasonable and like not going into extremes and all that Extreme. so right. i did right. that and uh, then i moved on to the other uh, questions and as you said at the moment i did uh, i entered paper 2 and i realized okay this is my there there is a scope where i can uh, yeah. that that's my battlefield <laughs> yeah right. exactly that's my forte that's my strength yeah. yeah right great great so any advice that you would want to give to students who preparing for net anything specific that you have in mind do you have shared some wonderful tips but anything else that you have in mind which you would want to share just believing that it is definitely possible i mean uh, people, for those who have not clarified this, my friends also they have attempted and they have scored 178 also and 182 was the cut off so they have, they was this close so i would just say ki you know you are also this close do not lose that hope even i had that in my mind that what if i don't clear this time it will be so difficult i'll have to start from basics again Scratch. but you are not starting from the basics you are definitely ahead a lot because you have done most of the things you have to revise them and this okay. time you might as well clear jrf so <laughs> there's that right so uh, believing one. believing that it is definitely possible will help you because once you know the why you will know how so answering that question that why you know that is very important to know how and once you know that why that okay you have things cleared in mind i have to get this straight this is my time limit you just don't have to take so much pressure that okay i don't have time that might come naturally if you are preparing for a long time but initially for people the beginners you have time you can do this and it is possible it is it is the exam is made for you you can do this exactly. so the mental exactly. make up is done and after that mental makeup there comes the action because you cannot be idealistic about things and just pray <laughs> it will happen <laughs> no so that is there so um i would say the the hard work definitely that should be done that should never be compromised you should not leave uh, the portions unless that's like the only option left mm-hmm. you should definitely do because you never know there was like bharti mukherjee and questions from that i just gave a read read last time and then after th- i saw the question i was like thank god i did this i read this otherwise i would have just skipped that portion so if possible try to cover maximum syllabus if not then you're definitely a human being and apart from that i'd say you can also keep a journal and things like that to write down feelings you know today you might not feel motivated so mm-hmm. there's that and apart from that there are very wonderful movies also on youtube so there are days which you might not feel like you know studying a lot so you cannot obviously you will not feel like studying the novel so you can just watch the movie it will help watch clear them. so many concept i've watched exactly. that we pilgrims progress i think it's a very cartoon version and it's yeah. amazing because yeah, yeah. i was writing notes and it was there were like so many things happening simultaneously but then i saw the movie and it helped me a lot so lot. these tips you have to be mentally prepared so nice. physically you have to do the hard work and also spiritually also if you want to stay connected there's that also so wonderful i think you've you've uh, you've given that yoga ka jo mantra hai na mind body and soul all three together <laughs> and that is what yoga is all about yoga is all about so very beautifully you've uh, uh, you know kind of uh, aligned the three pillars together and all three are as as important as the other because spiritual yes, as you yes, said yes. Uh, i have that prayer section on the website if you see oh yeah so, i forgot to mention i had that in my mind that your course is not just like it does not it definitely have content but then in the end there was like prayer from arpita ma'am and that was so 
soothing to watch and it was like you being with us it's like your it reminds us of your presence that you are praying for us your entire team is working yeah. so hard so that we get there we reach to our dreams in a better manner in a faster yeah. way so definitely so the Thank prayer you so part- much. that that prayer i think um, is something that i advise everyone to uh, do on a daily basis prayer or any mm-hmm. form of meditation that you like it just uh, what you said makes so much sense that when you journal you write down how do you feel so even today mm-hmm. like i have been in this industry since past 6 years and yet there are days when i feel that oh i wasn't productive enough today i i had so many things in my task list but i did not do it mm-hmm. so i have this habit of uh, you know writing uh, my task list on a day to day basis uh, in the morning and then i check it off and in the evening i have a completed task list that these are the things that i finished today so the days mm-hmm. when i feel demotivated i go back to those a uh, previous notes and i just scroll through them and see that oh there have been days where i've been super productive so i can take that leverage that okay today i did not feel like doing so much and that kind of uh, doesn't uh, let me get into that guilt trip which a lot of us have this tendency towards we all mm-hmm. gravitate towards saying that oh i've i'm not done enough i'm not intelligent enough i'm not hard working enough and that is something that has to be changed like no yeah, matter if you clear yeah. net you do not clear net it mm-hmm. has nothing to do with your self image you're a wonderful beautiful human being each one of us um and these these things that we do is just one of the achievements but that cannot overshadow our personality yes. a person that we are yeah yes and yes. that and is the probably the reason that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Little, little achievements little which we do yeah that's what so that's what i was saying and uh, as you have wonderfully mentioned all the spiritual causes and that but that was amazing yeah right right so that's about it i guess uh, you you've uh, given a lot of tips which are going to be very very beneficial and some really eye opening tips uh, for me as well uh, because um, you know um, every student that i meet has a very different way of mm. studying so i'm a very systematic person i am somebody mm. who's going to do a very thorough study you are somebody who is intelligent enough to know that okay this is the time that i have and this is what i'm going to aim for so mm-hmm. your approach kind of uh, would really help students who are also having this kind of time crunch and can mm-hmm. relate to your approach better mm-hmm. than mine mm-hmm. so i think uh, that is what we are aiming at that uh, with these definitely uh, definitely you series. have to have that mindset as well you know of what the, the paper setters they are going to set you have to just see it not like a battle but then you have to prepare your own army as well and then make sure exactly. that what and the only information you have of their army is the previous year question paper so that's that exactly exactly and uh, thank you so much once again um, it was lovely talking to you uh, thank you so much for taking our time for this interview and as soon as i land in rachi i'm going to give you a call i don't know when is that going to be possible but uh, probably in the next 3 4 months i'll be there in rachi and i'm definitely going to give you a call and i'll also ask devyo tell forward your number to him so since he is mm-hmm. in town he can definitely catch up with you once I so he's the one who so has great. like kind of helped you with the maths and di portion so definitely definitely i owe him a treat actually just let, let him know <laughs> <laughs> so and sure, also sure, and, sure. <laughs> and uh, you ma'am if you come here i'll be so honored actually to receive you and it will be an amazing experience to see you in real life it would be lovely i i i'll uh, definitely take you out for a treat <laughs> that is a treat that is due from arpitakarva.com's team for students like you who have made us proud and who has kind of um, made us feel worthy of what we are doing so when we see that our efforts are getting converted into somebody's dream are coming true that that kind of motivates us a lot to keep moving on this you path you are an absolute inspiration ma'am if someone asks me well, where do you see yourself uh, in like few years i would just my one word answer can be arpita ma'am so <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much but i would really want to like um, add something to it i would not want you definitely we all get inspiration from each other but then i would definitely not want you to is, uh, inspire to be me i would want you to inspire to be the best version you can be 
because i know <laughs> that you are beautiful in your own way and you can do things which i cannot even think of so there are plans which god has made for each one of us and we Definitely. have to move towards that path just like mm-hmm. that pilgrim progress so we have that <laughs> journey to the celestial city and everybody's mm-hmm. journey is different Mm-hmm. So, so ma'am, um, do you mind me asking? Uh, like, this is a uh, very like I know this is very too early to think. I have to finish my masters and do my dissertations as well. But then, what exactly did you do after clarifying your net? Did you attempt for JRF as well? Did you do PhD and what was um, your? Yes, so I did my PhD. I I cleared my net, and since uh, JRF is basically um. done in order to get that stipend when you're doing your phd mm-hmm. i come from a financially well family so i never had that thinki mujhe jrf karke government mm-hmm. se stipend lena hai because i found that let that money go into the hands of people who need it more than me so yeah. and then i pursued my phd uh, i mm-hmm. completed it while this startup was running so mm-hmm. 2016 uh, to 18 was my master 17 mein i cleared my net Um, 18 I started the company, and 18 I enrolled in PhD, which completed in 2021. Oh, it's recent. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. So that's how it. Thank was. you so much for the guidance, ma'am. That that thank you. you. Thank you, you so just... much for the love and appreciation. <laughs> And you yes, and I feel I've earned this fight. from a person. I I was just a viewer, and now I'm talking to you live. This is just an amazing, amazing experience. Thank you and so I feel much. grateful you so for much. you and your entire team who has worked so hard, so so hard. Thank you. And Thank the you. I'm animation. going to pass your regards to them. Definitely, <laughs> ma'am. Definitely. Everything. Ju- the entire aim is just it is helping so many students out there, including me, and it has helped me. You know, for me, it's like an impossibility thinking that I'll clear just in one month's time, and you know, under that to a category which is like the marks under this is just extremely <laughs> too much. So. Yeah, for me, I just thought I'll uh, if it happens, then it's good. Otherwise, I was definitely prepared. I'll give my second attempt, but then I qualified this attempt and my entire credits to you and everybody well, was happy. Thank you, thank you so much. Me. And your strategy was wonderful. Now that I know your entire journey, I can see that uh, it wasn't luck. It was sheer hard work and your smart work. Sometimes mm-hmm. people think that okay, if I study for like twelve hours for one year, only then I can clear net. there are people who are intelligent enough to realize that okay j- just like you said british lit- literature theory and criticism that constitutes of 80% of the syllabus if you finish yes, that yes. completely there is mm-hmm. a fair chance that you can get net because net ka cut off is 60 65% 80% mm-hmm. which you have 65% questions to correctly answer karoge so that exactly. is how the mind works the mind functions mm-hmm. so exactly and, and the really, mind really i would good. say the mind should like there are there was a very motivational video i watched where it was said the mind should not be like a stone where you pour water and it just goes everywhere it should be like a sponge which should absorb it so you should have that clarity in your mind it should be like lattices in the window that okay this forms here this okay structuralism post structuralism this uh, ye bath was a part of structuralism then he became a part of post so things should be clear over there if it is clear you will see the questions and you will know the answer and you will be definitely be more confident that okay so it should not be like a stone so the another metaphor absolutely wonderful analogy once again um some words of wisdom that um, i think is going to be very very beneficial for all the future aspirants thank you so much for being with us and i'm really looking forward to meet you very very soon i am j- just the same ma'am i'm so honored for this interview and for the fact that i could see you and talk to you in person so that is amazing thank, thank, you, thank you so much i'm going to share time. your number with devya can you guys mm-hmm. get in touch <laughs> Definitely, definitely. I would love that, and for you to come in, Ranchi, that would be an amazing. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Chalo, right. bye bye, and bye, congratulations man. once again, and pass my regards to all your teachers and your family members. Definitely, ma'am. You to pass my entire like a lot of respect to your team and you, of course, and your brother and everybody who was a part of Thank this you. journey because it's not one person just like structuralism; it's the entire. <laughs> entire elements you know helping me reach out there you know if you want something okay. desperately want something you will definitely find out the way so the just one last thing i would want to say is do not lose hope it is possible and you will definitely do this absolutely thank you so much thank you wonderful thank you, interacting with you actually bye bye same bye. here ma'am just the same bye ma'am bye bye, bye.